What's up everyone? Katie from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today we have another string review for you guys and today we are going to be talking about the Grapple Snake M8 string. So this string is another string from Grapple Snake that I must say is awesome. Again, I reviewed the Tor Sniper uh, as you guys would have saw a couple days ago. That was put out a couple days ago. So if you haven't seen that one yet, please do check that one out um, so you guys can see what I thought about that one and then you can kind of see how I reference that one uh, in this video today, how I compare it. So before we kind of jump into the video, please do not forget to like and subscribe. We have a lot of really exciting stuff coming. Um, it makes me smile when I think about it. You guys are gonna really love it, I think. The next kind of couple weeks of the channel is gonna be awesome. So please, please, please like and subscribe. It really helps us uh, and it helps us give you guys better content. So today we're talking about Grapple Snake M8. Once again, thanks to Grapple Snake for sending me these strings. Um, normally I wasn't really doing string reviews in the past, was kind of sticking to rackets and, and some other stuff, but I'm happy they, 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 they sent me these strings. They're awesome, guys. Like, this M8 is, is arguably better than the Tor Sniper, in my opinion. Um, it's got a lot going for it. I was pleasantly surprised going into the review. I kind of thought um, it was gonna be not as good as the Tor Sniper, um, just because the Tor Sniper was so hyped up by um, other reviewers and online and in forums and stuff. And this one, it uh, I think it's better. I think it's better than the than the Tor Sniper. So I'll tell you why here now. So once again, one thing that I'm noticing with both of the Grapple Snake strings so far, especially the Tor Sniper, but I know we're talking about the M8, is the tension maintenance is very very good. I played with this yesterday, no issues at all. Sometimes when you play with string, the tension can kind of drop off as soon as you take it off the stringer. Obviously that happens to all rackets in a way, but with the grapple snake strings, with this M8 string, it's not losing tension quickly. Like I used to play vocal cyclone way back and that, that lost tension so, so quickly. So I would have to restring quite frequently. This M8 has some great tension maintenance in my opinion. I mean, maybe some other people don't, don't think that, but I think it's great. I like it better than the Tor Sniper because overall it actually gave me more spin than the Tor Sniper. Uh, one thing that I didn't like about the Tor Sniper, which I mentioned in that review, was that I found uh, I really had to use my body a little bit more and the launch was a little bit lower. I also felt when I hit the ball with the Tor Sniper, if I didn't quite make contact in the middle, uh, although it felt so crispy coming out of the middle, it kind of felt a little odd and a little, not like a shank, but like similar to that. And I didn't love that feedback. With this M8, I did not get that at all. In fact, this actually plays more like um, a crispier version than my Confidential. And it could be because uh, of this color. Now, this is the thing with string. There's so many different things. I used to think string was just like a piece of plastic, but you know what? Like it's really not. There's different technologies and all these little things, different gauges. Everything uh, kind of plays into how it plays. And this string is a lighter color than the confidential. So lighter color strings tend to be more, um, what's the word? Uh, they, they give you more, more, there's more feedback to it. So some darker color strings can be more dead or dull. And I do love that about my Confidential, but this kind of felt like my Confidential. It gave me the same sort of launch angle. It gave me the same amount of control. I felt like I could take some big cuts and not be afraid that it was gonna go out, um, but only it felt a little bit more responsive. So by that, I mean it came out of the string bed with a little bit more spice and um, some crispiness almost. So. If you're really into that, if you like Slinko Confidential, but you want a little bit more, a little bit more spice, uh, some more crispiness, as I like to say too, uh, this M8 is going to be a great choice. Um, going into this review, I watched uh, some other people talk about this one, and they really thought that it was better at lower tensions. I don't know what I think about that. Um, I strung it at my normal tension, as you guys know, which is 54, 52 in my Extreme Tour. Not for long though, 
if you guys watch some future videos. Um, and, and, I, and I didn't have a problem with my normal tension. I, I thought it played great. Um, but yeah, overall, really, really good. At volleys and stuff on field shots, hitting slice backhands, excellent. Um, no really big issues. I feel like the Tor Sniper and the, and the M8 are actually very much in the realm of my confidential. So these tests aren't, um, they're easy tests and they're easy to get used to them. And I think that's why I like them too. I feel like when you start playing with, you know, uh, if you go from like a polar opposite of something like this, like a Luxlon Element or even Luxlon 4G or like Hyper G, I feel like those strings are more like all over the map. So if I was testing one of those the next day, one of them the other day, it might seem like very, very different where these are all kind of in the same realm. And I think that's why I enjoy them so, so much. Um, but yeah, tension maintenance was great. Playability was good. The touch and feel, there was no issues there. I actually really liked it on the touch and feel shots, volleys, it was great. Serve, I was able to manipulate it however I wanted. The one thing that is the standout thing for this one is it, I could be wording this wrong, but I felt like it stiffened up my racket. Now, sometimes with my Extreme Tour, one of the common complaints I have is that it, um, it's a little wobbly, it's a little unstable at times, maybe when I get a quick ball or something. And I felt like this kind of took that away a bit, which was quite interesting. So this is just my, my opinion, but maybe if you're somebody that wants um, a string that that is all these things that I've been saying, but also from what I experienced, it kind of takes away some of that stability problem, which is very weird. Maybe try this M8 out. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't, but this is just what I experienced. Uh, but yes, overall, excellent, excellent string. Um, I'm going to be reviewing uh, um, Grapple Snake Game Changer here soon as well, so stay tuned for that. So far, I really, really enjoy the M8 though, rather than the Tor Sniper. Tor Sniper, not a bad string. This one is just... It's just better, better than the Tor Sniper, and the Tor Sniper is a great string as well. So I think I've, I think I've nailed it all down, all the parts that I wanted to talk about. Let me know, you guys, what you think about the the Grapple Snake strings, this M8 string. There's uh, a link in the description. So if you would really like to, you know, buy some Grapple Snake strings, whether that's the M8, the Tor Sniper, the Game Changer, any of their other uh, good quality strings that they're they're producing please use the affiliate link. It really helps us. And yeah, so that is going to be it today. Definitely try out some, some, some of this grapple snake stuff, really high quality product. Thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you guys in the future videos. Do not forget to like and subscribe.